Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, let me just say, everybody, a couple of things. First, I want to say to all of you, I am thrilled to be with you today at this great gathering, which I know has been a long time in coming. And let's have a thank you to Steve Bloom. There you are. Okay. Now I want to do two things here. First, celebrate the just, equitable legalization of marijuana we have accomplished together in New York. And second, tell you about the fight that I am leading to legalize marijuana nationally in all 50 states. Now, we're all here, we're all here because we know that we must move past the failed model of the war on drugs. Young men and young women, disproportionately young men and women of color, have been arrested and jailed for even carrying small amounts of marijuana, a charge that came with exorbitant punitive penalties, a serious criminal record, and so many of them could never recover from that. We can never let that happen again. These were young men and young women with dreams of their own, with promise, with potential, <coughs> who had their lives ruined, ruined, simply because they happened to have a joint in their pocket. This over-criminalization of marijuana hurt individuals, but it hurt entire communities. Change has been urgently needed for so long. And that is why when you all asked me to stand with you, the organizers like Senator Ramos and Senator Biaggi and many others, and Tish James, he's here. Am I leaving any legislators now? Uh, many. <laughs> and Harvey Epstein. And Carolyn Maloney. I'm good. Okay. And all of them I joined with you and told the state, get off your butt and pass MRTA now. And guess what? They did. I pushed for the MRTA because I knew that legalizing marijuana itself is not enough. Amen. We need investment in communities harmed by the war on drugs. We need social equity in licensing entrepreneurs. And we need the expungement of records once and for all. Amen. Amen. We need it to start repairing the harms the war on drugs has done to New Yorkers. And with a huge coalition, we did just that. We raised our voices. We made it possible for the MRTA to become law. So I want to say it was an honor, honor, to work with some of, you, some of my friends who I've known for years in the legislature. Someone who helped me get elected to the Senate when she was just a council member in Buffalo, and now the majority leader, Crystal Peeble Stokes. <laughs> and Liz Kruger from, I guess, this district. Uh -huh. And Diane Savino yes. from the great borough of Staten Island. And organizers like Cassandra Frederick. Is she here? We love her. Are you here, Cassandra? She is a dynamo. She is incredible. And of course, um, here in New York, Melissa Moore, who led the charge. She here? They're great. And of course, Vocal New York, who relentlessly, I Vocal, <laughs> who relentlessly worked. When things got tough, what did they do? Did they give up? No. No. They got dirty. Did they throw up their hands and say, we're not going to get this done? No. Nope. They doubled down, put their heads down, made sacrifices in their personal lives, missed time with friends and families, spent hour, hours and hours in frustrating meetings, and got it done. Those at the state level who led the charge here, many of whom are out here, you inspire me. And so let me just say, I am 
so happy we got this over the finish line. So Amen. happy. Amen. The legalization in New York is the most ambitious in the country. In, in the critical areas of racial and economic justice, it sets new standards. It makes real, tangible impacts on the lives of millions. So let's take a moment and celebrate Amen. what we have already accomplished. Yeah. All across the state, from Buffalo to Brooklyn, communities dead is devastated by the war on drugs are beginning to be renewed, repaired, and made whole again. Young people are able to celebrate today without a fear that a little bit of marijuana in their pocket could ruin their lives. Less, more freedom, less fear. Amen. Right now, somewhere in this city, hopeful entrepreneurs are gathering together, thinking up a future marijuana business that'll provide jobs for New Yorkers and tax dollars to harmed communities. And for thousands of, of, of New Yorkers, with marijuana arrests on their records, the steps we have taken will provide a new lease on life. Yes. So I want to hear a big, long New York round of applause for every single organizer who has pushed this through, through the years. transfer that energy to Washington. Amen. Yeah, yeah Federal One. <laughs> and I want to tell you, today we're working to bring the focus of racial and economic justice you brought to the MRTA to the federal level. I, as, I was the first congressional leader of any party to come out in support of ending the federal prohibition on marijuana. And I am proud of that. And right now with my colleague Senator Booker, and Senator Wyden, we're going to put forward an advanced comprehensive cannabis reform legislation that will not only turn the page on this cha sad chapter in American history, but undo the devastating consequences of these, of these discriminatory and often bigoted policies. We got support across the country. Did you hear about South Dakota? Yeah. Hardly a liberal bastion. <laughs> they voted to legalize in November. <laughs> so this is happening across the country. We're going to get bipartisan support for our legislation. And we got to do it the right way, the right way. We have a once in a generation opportunity to invest in communities of color, provide opportunity for folks who have been hit hard by the prohibition, all of the old arguments and fear-mongering that crime would go up, that, that there would be a parade of horrible things hasn't happened. Justice Brandeis called the states the laboratory of democracy. And on marijuana, they have served just that role. We have taken the legalization to the laboratories of democracy. We did the experiments and the results are in what we have accomplished in New York is just the beginning. Amen. I will fight with you until we get fair, just, and full legalization yeah. in Washington. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, folks.